the North American League of Legends scene has a problem. If we take a look at all the rosters in the LCS before the start of the 2020 Spring Split, there are only three players who have never played on an LCS or LEC stage before, Ryoma, Johnson, and Closer. And of those, only Johnson is even from North America. In fact, half of the players in the LCS in 2020 will be imports. In other words, across the LCS, it doesn't look like the rosters have much to do with North America at all. These issues, the lack of young North American players entering the league, as well as the swell of imports over the years, are deeply connected, and the region's competitive future depends on fixing them. From the beginning, people have mocked the LCS for how many players it imports. NA was once called the world's retirement home. Back then, it was mostly a joke. Now, however, there's a real element of truth to the claim. Let's take a look at the 25 imports in North America. 13 of them hail from Europe, 8 are from South Korea, 2 are from Australia, and 2 come from Turkey. The other half of the league is mostly made up of veterans, who have already spent more than three years in the LCS. In comparison, Europe has six imports, China has 15, and Korea has none. Again, that's compared to NA's 25. But why is this happening? The problems stem from the roots up. First, the NA solo queue environment simply isn't good enough to help foster young talent. It has bad ping due to a lack of servers, it has a low player base, and it also has what many consider to be a for-fun mentality. The fact is, Europe and Korea's solo queue environments are much more competitive and aggressive than North America. Fnatic's top laner Buipo has even said that NA players are just happy playing one champion and being a one-trick, rather than thinking about what champions are the strongest to win. Because of this, top North American solo queue players aren't nearly as good as talent from regions without these problems those with multiple servers, higher player bases, and aggressive competition. This pushes pro teams away from these young players, and instead they pick up imports and veterans. So far, there isn't a pathway for promising young players to be seen, either. Riot has hosted the North American Academy League, Scouting Grounds, and Collegiate League as options for aspiring pros, but these all have issues. Many NA Academy teams sign known players instead of new faces. Scouting Grounds players are usually dropped after they've signed, and you have to be attending college to play in the Collegiate League to begin with. It's hard for any player to go pro, considering how little support is given to players who aren't established names. Fans and analysts alike have all said that Riot and its LCS teams should commit harder to the development of young talent, but every year, these pleas seem to land on deaf ears. Compare this to Europe, which hosts 13 regional leagues underneath the LEC. Players can find good exposure and gain experience playing in live events, all before joining the big stage in Berlin. Even now, the LEC has more than 10 rookies joining for the league in the 2020 season. Europe has gone all in behind its amateur and second tier leagues, and it's paid dividends. Superstars have emerged from these various European grassroots scenes, many of which were developed independently from Riot, such as the Orange Super League, Ultra Liga, and the UK League Championship. As a result, the region became one of the strongest in the world. It'll take a lot of hard work to fix North America. Riot finally placed Academy Games on the LCS broadcast this season, but that's only one step in what can only be described as a marathon. Teams need to start putting more resources into developing and scouting talent, and Riot needs to find more ways to showcase up-and-coming players while improving the region's solo queue. Non-Riot tournament organizers like DreamHack and Faceit could have a huge impact here as well, by creating their own tournaments to showcase regional talent. Just look at Tyler1. His self-hosted amateur league tournament had a peak viewer count of over 90,000 last year while the 2019 Academy League's peak viewership only reached 73,000. If this region can show that it will stand behind its players in their quest to become the best, NA may rise again, or for the first time, depending on your outlook, to meet other regions at the summit.